Hi, this is Ellen from The Chili Dog. As I've said before, we all make mistakes in our knitting from time to time, but there's no reason to get upset about it. Knit happens. Today, I am going to show you how to work down a column of stitches to correct an error. Using a crochet hook that's about the same size as your knitting needles will make the process a little bit easier. Let's get started. First, let's work down a column of knit stitches. You can see here the knits form a nice column of V's, but it looks like right here a purl bump snuck into my work somehow. I want to fix that single stitch without ripping out rows and rows of my work. So I'm going to continue knitting in my pattern until the stitch that's at the top of the column that needs to be corrected is at the tip of my left needle. As I'm working across, let's think about how our stitches are formed when we knit. Every stitch has two sides, a knit side and a purl side. And the knit side of our stitches look like V's. And then the purl side look like these horizontal bumps. When we form a new stitch, either knits or purls, the working yarn is always pulled through the lower stitch from the purl side to the knit side. As you can see here, I'm on the purl side and the yarn goes through to the knit side. It's not always something that we think about as we're knitting, but it's good to know when we correct down a column. And again, as I'm knitting, you can see here that the yarn is getting pulled through from the purl side of the stitch up to the knit side. Now you can see that the column that needs fixing is right here and the stitch at the top is on the tip of my left needle. And this can be a little bit intimidating the first time you try it but I promise it will work out with a little bit of practice. I'm going to drop this stitch off of my left needle and let everything unravel down the column until I get to where I made mis my mistake. To prevent my knitting from unraveling any further than this mistake, I'm going to stick my crochet hook from the knit side of the stitch through to the purl side just to hold my place. And this prevents the stitches from unraveling any further down this column. They'll stop right here where my crochet hook is. So now let's drop this stitch off the top of the needle. And we're just going to gently pull and you can see stitch by stitch that whole column is coming undone. yarn got caught there a little. And when I get to where the crochet hook is, it can't unravel anymore. Now, just like when I was knitting, since all of the stitches in this column are knits, I'm going to pull these horizontal strands that are loose across here, one by one, through the stitches from the purl side to the knit side. So here's the first strand and I'm going to pull it through the lower stitch from the purl side up to the knit side and it formed a new stitch. So locate the next strand, use your crochet hook to pull it through from the purl side to the knit side and then just keep going. And it's really important that you don't grab a strand that's too far above. You don't want to grab up here. You want to grab the very next one in this ladder of horizontal strands. Pull it through from the purl side to the knit side. Pull from the purl side to the knit side. And 
just one more. Now we just need to transfer this top stitch back onto our left needle so that we continue knitting in our pattern. So as I do transfer it, I want to pierce my left needle through the center of the stitch from the front to the back. So I'm going to go right through the center from the front to the back and pull my crochet hook out. My stitches have all been fixed and they're a nice neat column of knits and I'm ready to continue knitting. Now let's correct an error down a column of purl stitches. Here is my mistake. And again, I'm going to work across until the stitch at the top of this mistake column is at the tip of my left needle. So we'll work just a couple stitches here. And then double check things to make sure that my mistake column is here at the tip of the needle. So follow things up and I'm good. And again, we're just going to drop this stitch off the left needle and unravel down to the mistake. And then one by one, pick up the strands to rework the stitches. So just like before, I'm going to use my crochet hook. I'm going to insert it through from the knit side to the purl side. And then I can drop the stitch off my left needle and unravel things down. And that crochet hook again just prevents things from unraveling too far down the column. I don't want to have to correct more stitches than I have to. So just like before, we're going to pull these horizontal strands one at a time up the ladder from the purl side of the stitch through to the knit side. And this side to me always seems a little bit more awkward and I need to use my thumb to kind of hold the strand that I'm pulling through in place so I can hook it. So hook it and pull it through. Pull it forward. I'm going to hook that strand and pull it through. And then hook the next strand and pull it through. Now, if this seems too awkward to do, I have a little trick. Instead of pulling through this direction, we're just going to turn our work over. Don't take the crochet hook out though. Get my working yarn out of the way. And now we're going to still pull from the purl side to the knit side, but like I said, for some reason it feels less awkward to do it when the knit side is facing you. But it's still the same. You're pulling from the purl side of the stitch to the knit side up strand by strand. Before we transfer this stitch back to the left needle, we're going to turn things over. And just like before, we're going to transfer that stitch from the crochet hook to the left needle. And we're going to use our left needle to go right through the center of the stitch from the front to the back. And then slide the hook out. And our mistake is fixed and we are ready to keep knitting. So far, we've corrected stitches down a column of knits and we've corrected down a column of purls. But what happens when your mistake is in a column that has both knits and purls? We're going to follow the exact same principles, but it's a little bit more tedious, not impossible. And you're going to need to be very patient and take your time as you're working. So the principles are the same as before. We're going to work across until the column of stitches that we're fixing is at the tip of the left needle. We'll unravel down to the mistake and strand by strand, pick up the stitches and pull them through from the purl side to the knit side. My pattern here is pretty easy to read. I have four rows of purls and then four rows of knits. 
So that is going to make things a little bit easier as I'm correcting. But if your stitch pattern is more complicated, again, you're just going to follow the same principle. So I'm going to take my crochet hook and insert it from the knit side through to the purl side where my mistake happened. And that's going to prevent things from unraveling too far when I drop that stitch off. And it's going to set me up so I'm ready to pick up my dropped stitches. Drop one stitch off the left needle. Unravel things down. And I have four purl stitches up here. And then I need to make one, two, three knit stitches. So it's very helpful if you know what stitches that you need to make from your pattern. So first my knit stitches, I'm going to pull three strands through one at a time from the purl side to the knit side. So one, two, and three pulled through from the purl side to the knit side. If I didn't know my pattern and I had to read my work, since all my stitches in a row all the way across are the same, I would be able to tell that this next stitch is a purl stitch because at the top of this V that the stitch makes are the horizontal purl bars. So I know that the next stitch has to be purled. Since the next stitch has to be purled, my crochet hook is the wrong direction. I need to reposition it so I can pull this next strand through from the purl side through to the knit side. So I'm going to very carefully pinch that loop that I just pulled through, take my crochet hook out, and then reinsert it so I can pull that next strand through from the purl side to the knit side. So I'm going to go the other direction. And also you can continue pulling from the purl side to the knit side with your work this way. To me, it feels more cumbersome. So it's easier for me just to turn my work over and I'm still pulling from the purl side of the stitch to the knit side. It's just that now the knit side is facing me. So now I'm going to pull these next stitches through from the purl side to the knit side. And once I get to the top of the column, since I turned my work over, I need to turn it back before I transfer my stitch from my hook and get the stitch from the hook onto my left needle. I want to go through the center of the stitch from the front to the back. And then slide my hook out. And now we're ready to continue knitting and the mistake is gone. I hope that learning how to correct stitches down a column has made you feel more confident about fixing mistakes in your knitting. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, The Chili Dog, on YouTube for more knitting tips and tutorials. Until we stitch again, happy knitting!